Hey Robin, here I am in Silhouette Studio Business Edition, and it looks like that's what you have as well. And I'm, it's very easy to ungroup it here. All I do is highlight on it. I just click on it so there's a box all the way around it. Then I just right click and say ungroup. And once it's ungrouped, I can take the different pieces away, and I can even change them into different colors if I like to. If I want to change this group into maybe a purple, and maybe turn this into a light pink so that I could put these on top like that. I can get the light pink color if I wanted this other pink, sorry. These, the stars, can change those to another color if I like to. Okay, and I could change these red or dark pink color to something else if I'd like. It's going to look really ugly, but you get the idea. So I can just change it just like that. It's very easy. And if you're using Silhouette, you just go to Send. And then when you get over here, click on the word Fill. And notice all the colors listed over here. If you want to cut them one by one, you can click up here to unselect them all. And then click this one to cut the pink, the light pink first. That's all it will cut. Right now I have it set to smooth heat transfer and my auto blade. After I cut the pink, I can unclick it and then go on to the purple and just the purple will cut. After that is cut, then the green. When the green is cut, I will uncheck it and just do the yellow. Mm. So that's how easy it is. You just come over here after you go to send and come to the fill. And these are the different fill colors that you can have cut one by one. Now in Cricut Design Space, let's go over there in case that's what you're using. Here it is in Cricut Design Space. Again, it comes in like this, grouped together. I can simply right click and ungroup or I can come up here and ungroup. And these are the way it's going to cut these different four different shades or colors. Again, I can change the colors if I want to. If I want to make this a purple, I can do that. Put it right back in there. And I can change the other things as well. Maybe these stars or the starfish. Change those to gold. And again, I would just go to make it here. And everything would be separated into its mats. So it's pretty easy to ungroup it. You can either right click and ungroup or find the word object and group. Let me show you here real quick. I can come right click and, <clears throat> well, it's already ungrouped, so I can't. Let's see. Let me group it back together. So I could come up here and say ungroup or I can right click on it and say ungroup. Going back to silhouette. And let's go to the design area. Let's assume it's all grouped. Let me group it back together. So I could come up here to object, which you can't really see. There we go. I could come up here to object, ungroup, or I could simply right click on it and say ungroup. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have further questions.